Hey guys, I'm Darren Real. I'm a uh, about a nine handicap. Uh, I've been playing golf for a while, um, but I think one thing that I always try to improve, um, I think most amateurs are trying to improve, is their ball striking. And thankfully today, I have here with me one of the best ball strikers of all time, Jim Furyk. How's it hey, going? Uh, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. First of all, I gotta let you know you're in trouble because I'm not a very good teacher. So I hit it pretty good, but I don't teach that well. So. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, well, fre you're fresh meat right at the moment. <laughs> well, let me hit a ball. Um, what iron do you have? I have a five iron okay. right now. Anything lower than a five, I'm typically okay with. Once I get to five and above, I kind of avoid it at all costs. Well, let's Throw take it. a couple swings. Okay. Setup looks pretty good. All right, so. Let's talk a little bit about your golf swing and now to help you out, I don't carry a three iron. Okay. All right, because you know, I can hit it, but I don't hit it high enough. Uh, and as we get to longer clubs, do you notice that you don't get as much separation in your clubs? In terms like of the distance? difference between a seven iron and an eight iron might be 10 to 12 yards. Yeah, if that. But as you get longer, you go to like from six iron to five iron, maybe that gap gets smaller, but then five to four, four to three, they kind of start going the same distance. Right. So you're playing a, a dynamic old shaft, a great shaft, S300. So it's on the heavy side. Yeah. Uh, it's not meant to, you know, there's other shafts out there that could help you get the ball a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. But here's what I want you to do. We're gonna right. hit some long irons. Let's get to a club where you've got to make a pretty solid swing, like uh, an eight iron. Okay. I want you to hit two or three eight irons. All righty. Show me what that looks like. So what, what am I, in terms of setup? I practice with a string line. Okay. Uh, you could use aiming sticks, whatever you like. I like the string line, it's a great visual. So okay. you said we're gonna aim over those palm trees? Yeah. What I'm gonna do is try to put this ball somewhere in the middle of the string line. Okay. And we're gonna aim this, something real easy. We're gonna aim this kinda just off the right edge of those palm trees. Okay. That should line you up right now, right down the line. Beautiful swing. Ooh. Okay. That one's not good. All right, now let's go immediately to the five iron right here. Okay. Now, what I want you to think of in this swing is we're not gonna try to swing any longer. We're not gonna swing any harder. We're not gonna try to lift this golf ball in the air. You gotta make the same swing you just made with that eight iron. Same length, same feel, hit down through it. Trust that that club's gonna do the work for you. Okay. Thin. Thin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One of the things I noticed, okay. your ball positions changed drastically between your five and your eight iron. Okay. So with your eight iron, you were actually maybe even back of middle of your stance, which I was a little worried it was too far back. And I okay. don't say anything. Your five iron is starting to move up closer to your left toe. I mean, it's a, it's a big jump, probably that far from five to eight iron. It should move a little bit, but it shouldn't be that big. Okay. So we gotta find out where you're comfortable with your ball position. Maybe still a little thin, but a lot better. Yeah. A lot better. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a wrench at you here. I just wanna see what happens. Oh boy, okay. Three iron. And that would be kind of your normal tendency with a three iron, maybe a little lower. It's getting away from you from left to right. Doesn't yeah. have as much loft, hard to put spin on it. When we don't spin the ball, it's gonna wanna slide to the right. Okay. There you go. An amateur, what, what would your handicap be? Uh, I'm gonna guess like uh, 12. Mine? Yeah. Nine. Nine. Oh, that's close. That's yeah. three. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you must putt pretty good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think my, my main takeaway is that focusing a little bit more on my setup, for sure. And then always, when I have this this longer club in my hand, pretending that you have an eight iron. myself thinking it's an eight iron. An eight iron, nine iron. Swing can't get any longer. You can't try to help it and lift it in the air. Uh, and just pay a lot of attention to your ball position. We want to get that more consistent. Right, I, I mean, a lot I of feel times like... it'll all actually do something like this. Another good one. Leaking a little on your right, but wouldn't be the worst shot you hit all day. No. But everyone, even the tour pro, our, our first reaction, again, over swing, try to help the ball in the air. And if you don't make a good solid swing and you don't get through it, uh, you're, I think... you're not gonna hit a good solid shot. And if you don't like the height that that goes, it's time to switch clubs and go to a hybrid, get some more loft, you know, yeah. have, have it help you get the ball in the air. Awesome. Thanks, Jim. Yep, hope it worked.